Hello friends, mom welcome in this video that is nitrate assimilation. This video is the part of a series of lectures on the nitrogen fixation. Plants assimilate most of the nitrate absorbed by their roots into organic nitrogen compounds. This process is taking place in two steps. In first step, the nitrate is converted into nitrite and in the second step, nitrate get converted into ammonia. So the first step of this process is the reduction of nitrate to nitrate in the cytosol. The enzyme nitrate reductase carries out this reaction. If you see the stoichiometric equation here, nitrate plus NAD in bracket P bracket close H plus H positive to electrons gives NO2 that is nitrite NADP or NAD plus a molecule of water. Here NAD in bracket P H indicates that NADH or NADPH may involve. The most common form of nitrate reductase uses only NADH as an electron donor. Another form of enzyme that is found predominantly in non-green tissues such as roots can be used either NADH or NADPH. The nitrate reductase of higher plants composed of two identical subunits each containing three prosthetic groups. FAD, heme, and a molybdenum complex to an organic molecule called terine. Nitrate reductase is the main molybdenum containing protein in vegetative tissue. And one symptom of molybdenum deficiency is the accumulation of nitrate that results from diminished nitrate reductase activity. Comparison of the amino acid sequences for nitrate reductase from several species with those of other well characterized proteins that bind FAD, heme or molybdenum has led a three domain model for nitrate reductase. The FAD binding domain accepts two electrons from NADH or NADPH. The electrons then passes through the heme domain to the molybdenum complex where they are transferred to nitrate. This figure illustrates the three winding domains whose polypeptide sequence are similar in eukaryotes, molybdenum complex, heme and FAD. The NADH binding at the FAD binding region of each subunit and initiates a two electron transfer from the carboxyl terminal through each of the electron transfer components to the amino terminus. Nitrate is reduced at a molybdenum complex near the amino terminus. The polypeptide sequence of the hinge region are highly variable among these species. So now we will see the regulation of nitrate reductase. Nitrate, light and carbohydrates influence nitrate reductase at the transcription and translational level. In barley seedlings, nitrate reductase mRNA was detected approximately 40 minutes after addition of nitrate and maximum levels were attained within 3 hours. In contrast to the rapid mRNA accumulation, there was a gradual linear increase in nitrate reductase activity indicates that slower synthesis of this protein. In addition, the protein is subject to translational modulations involving reversible phosphorylation that is analogous to the regulation of sucrose phosphate synthetase, light carbohydrate levels and other environmental factors stimulate protein phosphatase that dephosphorylates several terine residues on the nitrate reductase protein and thereby activate the enzyme. Operating in the reverse direction, darkness and magnesium ion stimulates the protein kinase that phosphorylates the same serine residue which then interact with a 14-3-3 inhibitor protein and thereby inactivate nitrate reductase. Regulation of nitrate reductase activity through phosphorylation and dephosphorylation provides more rapid control than can be achieved through synthesis of a degradation of the enzyme. The second step is the reduction of nitrite into ammonium. Nitrite is a highly reactive, potentially toxic ion. Plant cells immediately transport the nitrite generated by nitrate reduction from the cytosol into chloroplast in the leaves and plastids in roots. In these organelles, the enzyme nitrite reductase reduces 
nitride to ammonium according to the following reaction NO2 plus 6 ferrodoxin in the ready state plus 8 proton plus 6 electrons gives ammonium ions plus 6 ferrodoxin molecules in the oxidized state plus 2 H2O that is water molecule. Reduced ferrodoxin derives from the photosynthetic electron transport in the chloroplast and from NADPH generated by the oxidative pentose phosphate pathway in non green tissues. Chloroplast and root plastids contain different forms of the enzyme, but both forms consist of a single polypeptide containing two prosthetic groups, an iron sulfur cluster, and a specialized heme. These groups acting together bind nitrite and reduce it directly ammonium without accumulation of nitrogen compounds of intermediate nitrox states. The electron flow through ferrodoxin and heme can be represented here. This model shows the coupling of photosynthetic electron flow via ferrodoxin to the reduction of nitride by nitride reductase. The enzyme contains two prosthetic groups Fe4S4 and Heme which, which participate in the reduction of nitride to ammonium. Plants can assimilate nitrate in both roots and shoots. In many plants, when the roots receive small amounts of nitrate, nitrate is reduced primarily in the roots. As the supply of nitrate increases, a greater proportion of the absorbed nitrate is translocated to the shoot and assimilated there. Even under similar conditions of nitrate supply, the balance between root and shoot nitrate metabolism, as indicated by a proportion of the relative concentration of nitrate and reduced nitrogen in the xylem sap varies from species to species. In plants such as cuckleber, nitrate metabolism is restricted to the shoot. In other plants such as in other plants such as white lupin, most nitrate is metabolized in the roots. Generally species native to temperate regions rely more heavily on the nitrate assimilation by the roots than do species of a tropical or subtropical origin. Thank you.